Oh my goodness. Uh, just like 30 minutes ago, this room, <clears throat> this room was covered in confetti. And it turns out, funny story, uh, we don't have a vacuum. I'm not completely sure how the confetti got there. Sure. Probably Sam or Kenzie's fault, but really, who's to say? But it's gone, this room is spotless, and you guys would like some direction with starting a YouTube channel. Let's talk about that. I've got some ideas for you. By the way, before we get started, huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Owned.TV, which is your one-stop shop for all aesthetic needs for streaming, whether it's overlays, panels, alerts, profile pictures, banners, they've got you covered. Plus, they are modular. So for example, if you pick one up, like this one called Rodan, you've got multiple options to choose from for overlays, camera borders, all the different things. So if you and your friends all pick up the same one, uh, you're gonna have a different look. You don't have to worry about it. If you'd like to make the smart move like many from the community have done, feel free to use the link in the description below that also supports the channel when you use that. And make sure you use code alpha at checkout for 40% off. And by the way, if this video speaks to you in any way and you wanna jump into the chat and talk about it, I do stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, link to my stream in the description below. Let's get into it. Uh, I may have mentioned once or twice that if you wanna grow on Twitch, it's important that you create content elsewhere first. Feel like I may have said that before. Since then, one of the most common questions I get is, okay, well, what kind of content do I make? And that's a really difficult question to answer because you can make anything. This isn't like TV where there are standards set. If you don't meet a criteria, you don't meet an audience, they don't air you. This is, you start a channel, you do whatever you want, and there are channels on every end of the spectrum. There are channels that aren't even on the spectrum that have millions of subscribers. As much as the internet has grown and matured, it is still very much a wild west and that uh, you can do whatever you want. However, uh, I know that can be a little overwhelming and I know a starting point can be difficult to find sometimes. So today, uh, let's give you one of those. I feel like my chair is too high. There we go. <laughs> this is five starting point ideas for you to begin your YouTube channel. Let's start with one that hits close to home. Education. Do you know something? Do you know something better than most people? Do you know something that people want and need to know and don't have a great place to find those answers? Well, you might be the perfect candidate for an educational channel. Do you wanna know why I started the Alpha Gaming channel? Because if you go back to the very first videos on this channel, and please, don't, you will find that Alpha Gaming was actually a team. A team that played a lot of Halo. Mistake number one, nobody watched Halo. But we were streaming Halo together and we decided to make YouTube videos on some Halo challenges that we could do either between streams or during streams. Spoiler, nobody watched them. But throughout this process, and by the way, this was three to four years ago, I noticed that the bar for the aesthetics of a stream was very low and I had spent the last four years creating professional music videos and YouTube videos, and I thought I could share a couple things with the community, and uh, that worked much better. As the channel slowly started growing, I noticed there was also a need for things like social media strategies, camera and equipment guides. All, all the things that you see on this channel are things that I noticed the community needed, and there wasn't a great resource for it. And now, you're watching me. It worked. <laughs> the one thing I ask, and being real with you, this doesn't even have to be a real ask. The one thing that I ask is that you make sure that you don't start BSing educational content. Not because I'm worried about you misguiding people, but because people will notice. I watched a couple of people early on who were inspired by this channel, which by the way meant a lot to me, start making their own uh, Twitch growth strategy videos when they didn't actually have any prior knowledge in the field to begin with. If you're going to do an educational channel, I would recommend you uh, do it on a topic that you already know about. Number two. Number two is probably one of the most popular ones on YouTube because uh, it's very diverse and it's called documentation. Essentially, you take something you are good at and you document yourself doing it. And this is different from education. You're not teaching people how to do it. You are documenting yourself doing it. So for example, if you have a favorite hobby, maybe you like to build robots, go and build robots and document the whole thing beautifully on camera. Maybe you have a talent for comedy. There are a handful of pretty big Twitch streamers who started by making funny little sketches on Twitch and YouTube. Some of my favorites are Chris Melberger, Jay Cyrus. Fantastic, hilarious people. Then they move over to Twitch. 
their audience that likes them follows them. This can include travel. This can include random interests that you have. There are always more people than just you that are interested in what you do. And if you can learn to document it in a way that keeps it fun and interesting, people are gonna wanna live vicariously through you and watch what you're doing. So maybe take a step back and think for a moment and ask yourself, what do I enjoy more than anything? How can I turn that into content? This is a great one. Number three, let's get into another one that I've dabbled into a little bit here on this channel. Let's go into open dialogue. Channels where the viewer is simply talking about something of importance and relating to the viewer. It almost turns your channel into like a, a group therapy session. One of my favorites in this topic is actually Anna Akana. Anna has a library of extremely relatable open dialogue uploads from things like signs you're scared of commitment to stop talking to your ex or how to be happy, just conversations that people want to have and want to feel like other people are having some of the same issues that you're having. I've done a couple of these videos on this channel. Not only is it incredibly therapeutic to get those things off your chest, but also it turns you into a human that people can relate to. Even though those aren't the most viewed videos on this channel, I feel like the videos where I get vulnerable and I talk about some of my issues, I talk about some of the struggles of what we do on the internet. I feel like those are some of the videos that have created some of the most loyal viewers that relate to me on a very personal level. So when they come into chat, it feels like we know each other right off the bat. And look, look, old people like me, no longer in our 20s anymore. We have experiences. We're, dare I say, wise? Well, all I'm trying to say is we have some level of wisdom of years, right? This is a great option for people who uh, maybe stopped putting one candle per year on their birthday cake. You know who you are. Let's move on to number four. Number four, special interest. Find a specific activity that you enjoy doing and do that with your viewers. And this sounds very similar to documentation because it is. But where documentation more involves someone watching you do something specific, whether it's comedy or travel or a hobby, this is more of a let's sit down and do an activity together. Just let me give you an example. Uh, I think there's a channel, let me look it up. Is it, I think it's Unlisted Leaf. Hold on a sec. Yeah, yeah, I had it right. Unlisted Leaf. The dude has made a YouTube channel unboxing Pokemon booster packs. And by the way, uh, the videos are fantastic. I'd absolutely recommend them. I don't know how he manages to pull super rare cards in like every single video. Something's going on there. Either way, it's hilarious to watch. But for people who have like guilty pleasure interests, like opening booster packs or watching a TV show, something that interests you that you think other people are interested in as well, make content around it. I would also actually say that I think a lot of podcasts fall into this area, especially podcasts about things like, for example, the Tactical Crouch podcast, which I think, I wanna say it's about Overwatch, like professional Overwatch, and it's done by one of the guys on the Go XLR team. That's a special interest that he has turned into content. There's always people, always people interested in the same thing you're interested in. Number five, this last one is for the people who have a hard time speaking on camera, especially speaking naturally. This is artistic expression. Share something you're good at without necessarily talking about it. And this is as simple as showing a creative talent you have without talking about it or documenting it, whether it's making music videos, whether it's making art videos. Have you ever watched those videos of cartoonists drawing someone in 10 seconds, two minutes, and then 30 minutes? They're phenomenal and I can't stop once I start. I got hooked on one. I watched one on Midoriya, like drawing Midoriya. I think the first one was 10 seconds and then the 30 minutes one. And after each one, I was like, oh, this is a good drawing. The next one's not gonna be that much better. And each one got so much better I'll, I'll link it below, don't worry. And by the way, these five things, this isn't the entirety of YouTube. You can do anything you want on YouTube, but these are just five main categories that I could come up with that I thought might help you out. Also, also pro tip, combine two. One of my favorite combination channels, Vsauce. Vsauce combines education with open dialogue. Asking interesting questions like what would happen if everybody on the planet got together in the same place and all jumped at the same time? What would happen to the earth? And then explaining what would happen using science, physics, math, all the things. That was one of my favorite titles, by the way. Uh, turns out, spoiler, nothing would happen, but still made an interesting video. So here you go, take this, run with it make a channel, start content. If any of you come to me in my chat and say, hey, what kind of content should I make? I'm not gonna come up with your channel for you, okay? I'm not your producer. 
I'm not your mom. I believe in you. You're creative. Do something awesome. If you ask that, I'm gonna link you to this video. Just a heads up. <laughs> but if you have some interesting thoughts or questions, feel free to jump into my chat and Twitch. Again, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Link to that in the description below. Also, talk with some other people about it. We have a Discord of over 40,000 members. Join the Discord, jump in the chat, talk with people about their YouTube ideas. It might spark some ideas for you. And as always, happy streaming. Should we call in Sam and shoot him with it? Dang it, dang it, he's in here, dang it. Ah, oh, shoot.